The how is so simple, just hold for 30 seconds. The bench angle determines difficulty. Higher is easier, lower is harder. Now the why is a bit longer. This is a pigeon pose from yoga. Alyssa can do it very well, honestly. I was like, why don't you stretch out today to get ready and just went down in a pigeon pose. Now this has been used for thousands of years in yoga. But for me, starting at age nine, getting into these sort of positions would often cause my knee to pop out of place. Now no doctor ever properly diagnosed it. Only much later on internet discussion boards did I find out that it was actually these two lower leg bones popping out and it's very common and thousands of people have had incorrect surgery trying to handle it. Fortunately, I never had surgery and my persistence, even though it happened hundreds of times, eventually stopped happening. I believe most important was the ATG split squat, meaning getting strong through a full bend, one knee at a time. But I was also relentlessly trying to find ways to open this up. And I was first shown this over two years ago. I have video here. Over two years ago, I was shown this 30 second hold by Jeff Wolf. I'm gonna put his info on the screen so you can find him, one of the best experts on the strength flexibility relationship in the world. So notice in this position, I'm actually loading the area. So even though Alyssa's very flexible, she's not loading the area. So I think of flexibility as youth. You ever see a baby? But then strength is potency. Now don't worry because actually in our system, and you can see Jeff and I working on it here in zero, you don't need anything. You can start against the wall very gently. But how to progress from there? Well, the bench solved that, but then COVID hit. So now I was trying to find ways for people to makeshift this. I was trying to do it on my car with couch cushions. The best I found was using a countertop or something like this and then actually putting something to elevate and put cushion here, just like we do now with the bench. But notice in this position, I'm not really loading it like I am with the bench. So I started even adding load, but honestly, this is just so much more awkward and I think unsafe. Whereas this, because I'm stretched back now, it actually gives me load. It also adds in a nice little hip flexor stretch on this side. So that's a really nice bonus when you're doing hip workouts. So in this position, just a 30 second hold, I can now stretch and strengthen this area at the same time. Then I really knew this was the one when I went to help a seven foot tall NBA player who had tons of knee surgeries and stuff like that. The bigger the guy, the more knee surgeries, the tighter it is, the tougher it is to get into. This was so easy. From the very first session, we were able to just elevate the bench and he was able to start pain-free stretching and strengthening the area. So your part, each set is just gonna be to hold for 30 seconds. Notice you could put your hands here or here, but I think that would mean that you're trying to stretch too deep. So I want you holding in a place where you can keep your torso upright and you can do it yourself. You can put your hands on your hips. Now, unless you can do the pigeon, right? But in the ATG system, even if you can do the pigeon, I'm gonna make you do the incline pigeon because in this position, now she's gonna get stronger there, so now she's gonna have the best of both worlds. She's gonna have flexibility and strength. Is this pretty easy or hard to feel it? Easy. Okay, this is easy, right? So for the sake of longevity, I think it's gonna be that marriage of the flexibility and the strength. So this gives Alyssa something now you could do the rest of your life to stay in really good shape through the outside of those hips and the outside of the knee. You do not have to send in your form when you do this. However, if it's not feeling great, you definitely can and should send in question or video so we can help you through it.